It sounds good, thank you. Well, a Native American fashion show and benefit dance are in the works to help a college in Muskogee needing a lot of repairs from mold. So I'm joined now with the president of that college, Dr. Nikki Michael and Alyssa Brackett. Ladies, thank you both so, so much for being here this morning. I really appreciate it. Thank you for having us. Absolutely. <laughs> I'll start with you, Dr. Michael. Let's talk a little bit about your time with Baycone. You know, the problems you guys are facing right now, and it sounds like it's been quite a bit. Yes. It has. We have worked our tails off. <laughs> so let's just start out with what happened last year about this time. They needed me to step into the role of the interim president. I was a Native American Studies or American Indian Studies, Indigenous Studies professor. Definitely. Um, so when I got into the position, we immediately saw some serious needs of, of students. One, the gym that we had installed two years earlier had bowed up um, from leaks and water so within six months of that contract uh, that that became unusable so we end up all our athletes have to go to Muskogee or rent other gyms and other places and you can imagine how um, defeating that feels Absolutely. for students when they're just trying to go to college and and all these layers are adding up on top of what they already need to do um, the next thing we know is the same contractor, Cal uh, excuse me, Candor, they had done Posey Hall 2020, and uh, they did the drywall, they did partitions, they did very surface elements of the work, but they knew there was mold in there and they knew there were leaks. Wow. And so the, the permits that they should have gotten to do all these things and then the building inspection was never completed. Um, as a result, uh, two years later, I find myself in this position. Of course. And we had to remove 50 students after finding out that the, the mold levels, the black mold, was at lethal levels. DMI helped us uh, measure all the different buildings, um, but that was one of the most heartbreaking. And so if you can imagine what this is like, this is a, a Native American serving institution, mm -hmm. but we also house, you know, anybody who comes to our school, right? So you got Absolutely. high proportion of Latino, Latino et, or Latina, and then we also have African American and, and white students there. Um, but to, to give it to you like this, you know, you're talking about a population of students who have endured, right? They're not the top echelon of their classes. We get the ones that have nowhere else to go, who have been underserved all their life, reservations from up north, sometimes show up with a, a, a Walmart bag. Of course. And I mean, you could see some of the pictures there, just how detrimental the situation is. But So to remove a population that has already had to remove thousands of miles away from their homelands, have had to also endure being put on reservation status, um, generational inner trauma, and I have to then make a call to remove them once again in their one safe spot. Of course. So it was traumatic and most of those students who endured that really didn't want to return. I don't blame them. So we had a new set of students coming in this year. We were still unable to secure any uh, loans or basically uh, any funding whatsoever. BIA doesn't help us, BIE doesn't help us, and, and it really is upsetting to me because these students are Native. These Absolutely. are the entitlements. The, the Cherokee had the Trail of Tears, the Choctaws, all those different events that have led to where we're supposed to be serving our students, and they're not. Absolutely. Regardless, and, and real quick, you're running yeah. out of time Sorry. here. I want to talk real quick about the fact that you guys are helping out with this fashion show. How did this all become a part of it, and what are you guys working on to make this right and to, to get you guys some help? So we really wanted to put something together that brings the community together. And, you know, they kind of thought, whatever we can do, and uh, that became a fashion show. And uh, Native fashion's really on the uprise right now. So Definitely. we're really, like, it's really popular, and people come, people love it. So we're hoping that helps the effort, and the ticket sales go all to Bacon. That's amazing. And a yeah. lot a lot of fundraising efforts you guys are doing, so it's a really important thing. Here's some details here if you guys are interested in checking just a couple of these events out, and this is just the start again. Um, so let's start right here. I'm just going to scroll through. So this benefit dance, that'll be held February 4th. That'll be at 6 o'clock at Bacon College. There's also going to be raffles and auction vendors there. That fashion show in auction, that'll be February 11th. That'll be at 3 o'clock at the College Chapel. And again, all those proceeds go right back to the students, to the dorm, and to help your mission. Ladies, yes. thank you both so much for thank being you. here. I really appreciate it. And again, we'll have a lot more information, a lot more news coming up right after this break.